scheduled for eight rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. When the bell rings, your referee in charge, Tony Krebs. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, on my left, boxing out of the blue corner. His pro record is 20 wins, eight defeats, three draws, and 10 big wins coming by way of knockout. He wears the red and gold trunks and stands five feet, 11 inches tall. Weighing in officially 150 pounds even. From Tlalapantla, Mexico, Ramses El Faraon Agaton. And his opponent across the ring to my right, boxing out of the red corner. Unbeaten as a pro, eight wins. Six wins coming by way of the knockout. He wears black with purple stripes, standing five feet, 10 and a half inches tall, and weighing in 150 pounds even, representing Joel Diaz, training camp. From Brooklyn, New York, by way of Russia, Rachab Muchev. Once again, tonight's boxing is brought to you by Red Boxing Promotions. In association with Steven Rodarte. And here we have the first eight round fight of the night. A lot of experience in that ring. You have a southpaw guy against an orthodox. Southpaw fighters have had a good night tonight. Starting with the heavyweight and no choice. Well, I, I would say it's a lot of southpaws here. Uh, Mike Fowler didn't pull off the, the win he wanted. Good movement by Rodzab. He's flicking that jab. Very active fighter. Can't help but to feel that this brother got a lot of experience. Uh-oh. And things are about to warm up just here in the first round. I feel it. Good nice job. job. By Ramses. Whoa. Butov with a beautiful combination. Flurry. I mean, he's definitely in a groove fighting with his hands down. I think he's getting a little confident in there. Hey, he feel he deserves every right to have it. He, that flurry he threw, he looked like he's in great shape. Fighting with his hands down. Mm, throws a nice slick uppercut. He's definitely letting his hands fly. When you got the right guy in front of you, you you can try to pull these things off. This is besides the fact of the fight, man. I, I'm, I'm, I like them shorts, them purple and black shorts. Man, he's, he's throwing his, he's letting them hands go. Boot you off. an uppercut that was partially blocked by Ramses. Agitan. Agitan in the red and gold shorts. You hear uh, Ramses' cr uh, corner let him know not to jump in there, not to not throw himself. Uh -huh. Looking like he's trying to have a very uh, interesting first round. They had some words oh. of exchange here. Oh, it looks like there's some bad blood up in here. 
a little action after the bell. It always get the crowd going, but I don't necessarily know what that does to the fighters or how it makes them feel afterwards. Utov must be getting in uh, Agathon's head a little. Keeps pushing his head down. As See. far as strategy goes, if uh, if it plays in Ramsey's favor, then uh, Radzab Utov pushing forward. You know, without defense, that could definitely play in his favor, Agathon. But if not, if Ramza just keeps doing what he's doing, then... He could definitely pull this victory off. A little sportsmanship, respect in there. After what happened after the last round. right hand. Radizov is, 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 is definitely throwing big punches. Nice body shot. Got Rondrum off balance. Nagatan's corner right now, and I would tell him to to start moving at angles and not necessarily just walk straight back. Try to throw divergence and, 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 and start going to his left and then going to his right, just to you know to throw off of uh, ooh, Radzov's booty off. I hope I'm not hacking his brother's name. No, you're doing a great job. Yeah, he's, he's definitely putting on a show. Butov definitely very confident in the ring right now. Uh -huh. Landing some combinations, really can't be powerful touched. shots. As I said before, once you get into the rhythm and the guy in front of you allows you to do so. <laughs> yeah, brother. You Looks can like he's inviting him to come in and attack him. Knowing uh, full well what he might uh, hit him with. trying to stay right within range so he can throw that counter. He's trying to throw Ramsey's off and boom. He's trying to hit him with a straight he's, right hand. He's picking his shots right now. Yeah, he is. He knows exactly what shots he wants. He shoots them and he lands. I feel he took, he, he's, he Ramsey's took power. needs to answer back right now. Uh -huh. He took power off of his punches and now, you know, he wants to play with his food. Right job, but he better be very good. Ooh, calm. body shot. That looked like it might have hurt him. Yeah, Ramsey's right. his game, though. Look at him. He took the body punch. He's letting him know it hurt him. And he came right back out Ten there. Seconds. What a game fighter. End of that. Good round by Rajov. Boot off. Definitely looking sensational out there. What advice would you give to uh, Ramses Agathon right now? <laughs> As I said before, uh, Throw, you know, uh, try to throw divergence right now. This kid is building up a head of steam over here, the booty off. Uh, fighting with his hands down, throwing punches, you know, from, from different angles. What I would say, you know, to, to Agathon is, is to, to actually do the same thing. To throw, to throw you know, uh, punches from different angles as well, you know, uh, and try to corner him, put him in a corner. So far, you've only seen Ramses in the corner. There he 
Harris again with his hand down, trying to set up Ramses, and which he has every right to make the fight a lot easier. Score at will. Just be very mindful that he has a man in front of him. And that man has hands as well. And in the sport of boxing, nothing is for sure until it's sure. Fighting him in. Uh huh. And Gotta Buto be careful with that because Buto. Flush punches. It's a third round out of scheduled eight. Sweat is flying between these two brothers. Just the uh oh. Wow. Fighters definitely have to be careful about getting injured. That's how fighters get injured. Holding on each other when they're going down, but only to protect themselves. And Butov got Agitam going straight back, which is never good. Because he's making them do it forcefully. Good left hook. What a counter. He's being cerebral with them punches now. Butov is. Ooh. He's catching him with that countering left hook. Pushing him down. Off. Picking those shots, yeah, is throwing them hard. Looks like he might be trying to finish him off this round. This corner has actually stopped uh -huh. the fight. They stopped the fight, which I believe was the best thing to do. That was a lot of punishment. They saw that their fighter was outmatched. They go back to the drawing board, do what they possibly can to get this kid a better, uh, you know, uh, build his confidence up, one, and then two, you know, uh, understand and know that they just gained some experience and take that experience with them on to the next one. But Radzab uh, Butov, what a performance. He definitely came out there to, to put on knew a show. He knew he was going to put, put on, on a show, show for people here tonight. I was entertained. It was a very exciting fight. And uh, there we go back with his hat, in which I accidentally caught an afro earlier. <laughs> It does look like one. Yeah, I'm saying that, that, you know, my apologies. Shout out to Afros. No disrespect. Yeah, because, you know what I'm saying? I got one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought, you know, it's cool because I'm going to keep taking it as that. <laughs> I'm always in style. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, this bout comes to an end. Two minutes, 58 seconds into round number three. The corner steps in to stop the contest. Winner by TKO in the red corner, Rachel!